Well, travel in 2020 has obviously not been the same as in pre-COVID years, but people are looking forward to 2021, and some are even rolling the dice and taking vacations this year. If you are planning to fly, you may want to pay close attention to those fees because things are a changing. Joining us today to talk about what you can expect is the author of the book, How to Be the World's Smartest Traveler. Great title. Christopher Elliott joins us now live. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. Uh, our pleasure. We're talking about travel fees and the biggest change that's happened recently is the fees uh, to ticket changes. Is this the end of an era of travel fees? I wish I could say it was. Uh, United Airlines and then all of the other legacy carriers removed some, but not all, of their ticket change fees. And those ticket change fees were uh, things that travelers were complaining about for a long time. Whenever you make a change to the ticket, they'll charge you 200 and sometimes as much as $750 to make that change. So they removed some of those fees, but not all of them. All right. If, let's say, I decided to travel uh, or at least plan my next trip, what kind of a fee structure should I expect? If you're traveling domestically and you paid for an economy class ticket, not the cheapest kind, those are the basic economy class, but just a regular economy class, you would not pay a change fee. But if you're traveling internationally, they still have change fees on those tickets. And by the way, I should say that airlines say they've done away with all change fees forever. That's just hyperbole. They're going to find some way at some point of bringing those back. Uh, what about upgrades? Uh, you know, like used to be that if you know if you were nice to the gate agent and there was a seat opening in, in first class, you might get upgraded. Does that still happen or no? You know what? Now is a pretty good time to try something like that because you have a lot of empty seats. And um, I think that people are very grateful at the airlines. They're very grateful for your business. So if you smile and be nice to a gate agent, they might give you an upgrade. Also helps if you're a frequent flyer and you can show them your platinum card and say, uh, you know, I'm a loyal traveler on your airline. But, uh, you know, those, those things have been known to work in the past. Yeah, my uh, stepfather worked for Delta Airlines for 42 years, so I flew more in first class when I was a brat in the 70s than I ever have as an adult. Everything's coach for me. What is it going to take to get rid of fees permanently? Well, I think people have to stop paying them. And right now, what you have is people are still obediently paying their fees. And if people stop paying them and refusing to pay for things like, um, you know, advanced seat assignments, uh, meals on planes, and then, then these junk fees like ch ticket change fees, uh, I think that they eventually will go away. Yeah, it's like a processing fee when you, you buy the car. I was like, what, what processing cost $200? What, what is this? Um, what is one fee that we should look for and absolutely avoid if we can? What would that be? Uh, well, I would have said, if you had asked me that question a month ago, I would have said the ticket change fees are the worst. But right now, um, what airlines like to do is uh, when you buy a ticket, they say, would you like an advanced seat assignment? Uh, one airline I've even seen says, make sure that you get a chance to sit next to your kids, so pay this fee. What they will not tell you is that you already have a ticket. They're leaving with you, you with the impression that you don't have a ticket. You actually do. And, uh, and so what I would say is call their bluff and wait until you get to the gate, and then you'll get an assignment there. What about uh, luggage fees? You know, you get there and it, what is it supposed to be like 50 pounds and you were like at 51 pounds, you see people unzipping their bags and pulling stuff out, transferring to other bags, carry-ons, that kind of thing. Is that still going on? That is still going on, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, it, at, right at a time like now, airlines are kind of looking the other way for, for some of these things because they're very grateful to have you on board. But uh, the, the luggage fees are a huge annoyance. Um, and, and I've always said, if you really want to get uh, escape those luggage fees, an airline like Southwest is great because they will they will let you uh, check your first two bags. It's included in the price of your ticket. I'm not going to say it's free, but um, other airlines are very strict. Some of the low fare carriers uh, will charge you not just for the check bag, but also for a carry on bag. Yeah, I can think of one airline that my co-host loves that I'm no fan of. All right, thanks a lot, Christopher. Good stuff. You're very welcome.